tragic accident in the workplace leaves the Cottage Grove family without a husband and father. 31-year-old Justin Simons was killed Tuesday at the Weyerhaeuser Mill. KZI 9 News reporter Nat Wynn spoke with first responders and friends and shows us how the community is banding together to offer their support. Tuesday was rough, to say the least, for the Weyerhaeuser community. Uh, we were called out to the Weyerhaeuser plant here on South 99 in Cottage Grove. Um, for a uh, man trapped in a chain. That man was 31-year-old Justin Simons. First responders tried to resuscitate him, but were unsuccessful. South Lane County Fire and Rescue crews say it's been at least 15 years since anything like this has happened on that campus. And the loss is a tough one, extending beyond these fences. Well, this is a small community where um, uh, this, uh, this tragedy has uh, as trickle-down effects throughout the community. Um, he leaves home a, a family um, and uh, ch small children. Friends say Simons was the main provider for his wife and three children. And their concern pushed them to start a GoFundMe account that has gotten more attention than anyone could have imagined. I'm blown away. The response has been amazing. I mean, she's at $11,000 in one day. And, you know, that's, that's life-changing for someone who's got so many other issues and, you know, if we can relieve the financial burden a little bit, then, I mean, that's amazing. But they hope that this is just the beginning of the community's generosity. Kaylee and Justin are just two great people and, you know, their kids are great. And if anybody has extra funds they can donate, then I would just really encourage that because I think that's just part of being a community is helping people and this is a really worthy cause. In Cottage Grove, Nangwin, KEZI 9 News. Thank you, Nat. And an account has also been set up at Northwest Community Credit Union. People can donate by going to any Lane County branch.